So I decided I'd have a bit of fun, a little trip down memory lane, and see how I'd process an image for laser engraving, because I am bored. So first off, we'd want to load up our Krell Draw. Now, I don't have the epilogue plugin, unfortunately, so I can't um, do this exactly how I would do it. But first, you're going to want to make your canvas. I would make this probably a 3-inch engraving. Let's go 4. So our canvas is 4 inches long. You have your measurements up here. Now i got to grab our image. So this is currently a PNG. This will not do. We need it vectorized. Um, SVG, .ai, um, uh, DXF, any of them. Um, what that does is, instead of um, using pixels, it uses math to draw the lines. It traces it out with um, math. Don't ask me how. So I use a software called Vector Magic. Um, what you just do is drag it and drop it, and choose your parameters. So I'm just going to run through this really quick. We have blended edges. Yep. Um, we are high quality. Now we're just for this. Um, we're gonna. Actually, no, it should be fine. I'm kind of remembering this as I go, to be honest. So I'm take a peek. I don't like the jitteriness of this, so I'm gonna. Let's try. Oh, wrong button. Okay, we're gonna go to low quality, maybe. Spoiler alert, I've already processed this image before. Yep, low quality smooths out those jagged edges. High quality is better for more detailed logos, but for like um, simple art like this, low is fine. It's all dependent on your setup. So we have our drag and drop here. I don't recall if this ever worked. We can check. Yes, it did. Nice. So now we're gonna scale it down to fit our workspace. Give it a bit of margin. Um, you'll see why. We're going to align it to the center. Now we're going to do the secret trick. Hairline. Or wait, no, no, no. no. That's for if you're cutting. Um, we'll go zero. And then we got to play with the contrast of it. Oh, boy. Contrast sucks. Um, how did I used to do this? Oh yeah, well, I'd split it apart. Ungroup all this. If you're on a cheapo workstation like I was, this would lag it out. Pretty, pretty good. But now we have our circle. Well, all of our parts, we can colorize them as we want. We're going to want to copy these values. I'm going to make a... Uh, I'm going to make it like a little cutout. Oh, why are we in Arc Tool? Oh, for my last project. I have a circle the same size. Let's set that to hairline so that'll cut. And an important thing to do if you're doing this is um, the order you set stuff to hairline is the order it will cut in. Um, just keep that in mind. It's not important right for me because I'm not cutting this. We're going to align it. Ah, oh, crap. And, you know, that will be cut off. If we were actually engraving this, to be cut off. I'm not going to try to... Uh, to be honest, I don't want to draw another line. I don't want to draw another line as long as I live. Um, doing curves manually sucked, and I would rather not relive it. Just pretend I did that. Actually, I'll do it. Okay, to be honest, I really don't care beyond that. It's fine. It's 
so low resolution, usually you won't notice. It is still hairline, so it will cut. Now I need to work out how it'll engrave, because we don't want the whole thing solid. Um, we First off, we want to invert this. Let's name you Outline. Okay, we want you to be white. White. You be black. Be black. And we're gonna make the interior transparent slash white. And boom, now we have a processed file ready to be engraved. Then, in an ideal world, if I had an epilogue laser, I would print, um, select the epilogue print driver. I can't do anything beyond this, unfortunately. They'd have properties and they'd have their own control panel. I, I need to source an epilogue and a really nice ventilation for it because I probably took a few years off my life in process engraving stuff with the other one. But yeah, then you could engrave this um for, oh, what would it be? On wood, I'd give this 75 power, 75 speed, then 100 power, 5 speed to cut. That should get some nice dark lines on wood. Kind of thin eighth inch, I would say. Yeah, I'm just rambling to be honest. Nice bit of nostalgia.